chi is the chi. Chi means pa. You should pa. This is how we execute movement. With this three thing, uh, this external movement, there's also mind involved in this. There's also three internal mind involved. But they, because you do these three things, therefore you get these three things. But they're not related to the first thing and the second thing. Of the, okay, there's an external one, and there's an internal one. The internal one, you get it, is because you're doing this to get it. But they're not related to this match with this, this match with this. Oh. So, you see what I'm saying? Not low extremity, lower extremity, internal, middle, internal, ex, uh, lower, you know what So basically, the first one is the heart and your mind have to match. So that means your intention. Okay? That means it's intention. First of all, you have an intention. Where the intention come from? From your mind or from your heart? It's a good question, isn't it? You think the mind? So we never use our heart? <laughs> yes. People say, hey, you're speaking through your heart, right? Only when you speak through your heart is the truth. Speak from my mind may not be the truth. But the heart and the mind will give you great intent. When you have the intent, what do you crave? When you're going to do something, you need to gather the energy, right? Correct? You need to gather energy and you want to do it. So the mind and the energy, energy is power. Energy is chi, right? In Chinese, it's chi, right? Energy chi or kia in the Japanese term. So when your mind, your mind, your heart decided to do this movement, your heart tell your mind, okay, shift to the left. Okay, before you shift to the left, your heart tell your mind intend to do this. As soon as the mind gets the signal, the energy does. Correct? Yeah, the energy gathers to move. And when you move, you get power. Correct? Can I try to speak some philosophy? <laughs> 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 right? Right? And Tachi is actually part of what? If you think about it, it's part of it. You're fixing problems. You're actually not fixing someone else's problem. You're fixing your problem. You don't care about someone else's problem. I mean, you're being a little selfish. I don't think so. I think it's okay to be selfish to fix a problem. Because if your problem is not fixed, how can you fix someone else's problem, right? So you fix your problem. Fix what problem? My mind is not straight. I'm not focused. My life really is not doing great, you know? So what I'm saying is that you have to constantly fix a problem. You cannot avoid a problem. You cannot let go of a problem. You know, uh, in the Confucius way, you have a problem, I have a problem, they punish themselves, or they punish you. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure about the Buddhism way, maybe the Hindu way, I'm not sure. They say, okay, just give it, just let it go. Let it go. But Tao is not that way. No, no. I'm not talking about religion, not philosophy. No, we don't let it go. We harmonize. Harmonizing means we fix it. Harmonizing means, okay, you get mad at me. Can I get mad? No, I cannot. That's force against force. That's against the Tai Chi principle. If you get mad, this person cannot get mad. But this person cannot let go. If you let go, what happens? He can go mad. He can go mad. He can go mad. He can go mad. So, you don't let go. You stand and watch and see what happens. And believe me, after a while, this person change. If it doesn't change, you find other ways to change, to harmonize that person. When that happens, you become the Tai Chi master. If that person doesn't change, you change. Make sense? There's something about she or he don't like about you. And you don't think you have a problem. Of course, I don't have a problem. She has a problem. Oh, he had a problem. That's human. So now we turn around and say, okay, you don't have a problem, right? 
but I know you have a problem. But I'm going to let you know that I have a problem now. And I'm going to make the change to adapt everything. And make the change. And when that change makes, you know how the yin and yin yang circle move? They move. You know? And when they move, you harmonize it. And when you fix it, the funny thing is that when you fix that problem, you actually fix it yourself. Then you realize that, hell man, I do have a problem. But now I'm fixing it. And that's all what it is in touch with. You're constantly cultivating. But I'm trying to use the word cultivate. You're cultivating yourself from the inside. Whether it's right or wrong, you're cultivating. There's nothing wrong like on the soil you're cultivating, you're putting water, you're taking care of it. Even though you're taking care of it last time, you still take care of it. There's nothing wrong. You get a sweet orange tree when you do that. You know? That's what I'm trying to say. You spend love, you spend time in cultivating yourself. Because sometimes by fixing yourself, you fix somebody else. Make sense? Because somebody else is impossible to fix. <laughs> Some people it's impossible. There's nothing to do with it. So it's doing by not doing to fix the situation. And Tai Chi is this. So that's what Tai Chi is. It's a, it's a study. It's a life. It's a real thing. It's not even uh, uh, a belief system. It's not even a religion, I would call it. It's not even, not, it's, not, it's a little bit philosophical, but it's a way of life. That's what we see all the time. You know, we, we use other methods. Does it mean I'm giving in? Do you think giving in is loose? You lost? Not necessarily. Aggressive mean you win? Not necessarily. You know? But when two people give in, nothing happens either. You never fix the problem. So you have to kind of move around. So what I'm trying to say is when you do these three external matching, the universal power will merit you or reward you with the other three things, which is the heart, go to the chi, the chi go to the no, the heart go to the mind, the mind go to the chi, the chi go to the heart, issue the heart, issue the heart, chi. And then when that happens, then life continues. See that? Life will continue. Now, if your extremities are not matching, then you're not going to get that, so you never fix the problem. So now you fix the extremity. Constantly fix it. So we have to fix someone. It's easier to fix yourself, but to fix someone, as soon as that touches you, the energy changes. You have to really know, you really have to match. That means all along, you're smiling yourself, getting all the rewards and merit, but you're actually never got You got it in paper, but you never got the cash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You signed the contract, but you didn't get your money. You only get your money when you meet your opponent. You meet the other yin and yang that's not you. This is yin and yang you. There's another yin and yang coming in. And to balance that is the doubt. That's the way. That is the truth. That's the final truth of what you actually got. Majority of the people only got how to fix themselves, which is still good, mm. you know. You still live, you know. But the other one, that was able to fix the other one, that person died happy. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? He died happy. Because she fixed all the problems, she died happy. But someone else who did fix the problem, also died happy. But not that happy. So which one do you want? You choose. Ah!